The church-going types will probably hate me for what I do, helping bad men get away with bad things. But my mom loved a bad man, and then came me. So I've always seen things differently. Maybe they aren't bad at all. Maybe they just have the guts to admit what we all know. This is America. The rich get richer. Everyone else just works for them. The men I help take what they can to even the score. No waiting in line. I just do my best to keep them safe. They lay low here. No questions. Took a bullet. We can help. Need a new face? Not impossible. But there are rules. Cash up front. I decide how much. All guns are ours until they leave. And no relations. This is a hands-off establishment. Anyone who breaks my rules has to answer to my friends in Chicago. Of course, keeping Chicago friends can be complicated. That kind of love is never free. You wanted to see me, Mr. Nitty? Claire, we have a problem. Do you know who Carmine Rizzo is? <coughs> He's one of Al Capone's top bodyguards. Definitely his most enthusiastic. He started killing women all over Indiana. The feds are catching up to him. If it was up to me, I'd just kill him. But Capone says he's untouchable. I need you to stash him away for a while. Give him a new face. I help the mob. The mob helps me. So I can help you. Good business. No way, Claire. This is not the kind of animal we help. You think we got a choice. Nitty's not asking. If we lose his protection, we might as well shut this place down. <sighs> Mr. Rizzo? Now, what kind of help could a serious businesswoman like you want with a wild cowboy like me? Retribution. Mm -hmm. You don't understand my pain. No one does. But in the end, you will all learn. But it means going to war with half the gangs in Chicago, including the dirty cops. <laughs> I knew I'd like this place. I know what I'm doing. Oh, you do? And if you find Rizzo, then what? So leave, Trolley. Run back to Nitty and save your own ass. You don't want to kill a man, Claire. You just think you do. Keep spending most of their lives living in the Welcome to our house. Paradise.